In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about how to lower the file size in OBS. Now, before I get into this, make sure you watch the whole video because I'm not just going to be sharing one strategy to do it. I'm going to be teaching you a variety of different things that will help to make the file size lower. So make sure you pay close attention to watch the end and you should have a lower file size after this video. So like many people, when I first started using OBS, my file sizes were ridiculously big and I could not figure out how to make it smaller, but I'm going to teach you the best settings you can use to make it smaller. So first of all, we want to go into settings here. And there's a few things we want to do. So the first thing we want to do is go to um, video. And we want to make sure that the aspect ratio here is the aspect ratio that we want to upload in. So if I'm going to be uploading a video to YouTube and it's 1080p, there's no point in me doing 1440p. That's just going to make the file bigger for no reason. So that's the first thing. Scale this to what your aspect ratio is. For me, I use 1440, so I'm going to put that at 1440. Next is the FPS. So for me, I'm making this tutorial, and this tutorial is not going to need FPS. So I'm going to put this on 30 FPS. Now, if you're doing gaming, you might want it at 60 FPS, but 30 FPS is going to still be okay for the most part. But if you do that, that's going to basically make it a lot uh, smaller file size. Now, those are some base settings. The next thing we can do this is we go to the output. We can go to recording. And I'm going to show you a few of the settings we can do here. So again, make sure here we've got this set to the size of recording that we want. And there's a few formats you can do. You can do MKV or MP4. Um, Pick whichever one you would like. Now, the ones that kind of matter the most are the encoder settings. So there's these different encoder settings here. And the KBPS is going to basically be the... It basically uh, dictates the file size. So if I do a converter quickly, KBPS to megabytes per second. So I divide this by a thousand. So basically... This is going to mean that every second of recording, it's going to be six megabytes. So if you're going to record for 10 minutes, or if you're going to record for a minute, that'd be 60 times six, six. So that's 360 megabytes for one minute. So now that you know, okay, this is 360 megabytes for one minute, you can half that if you want to. So put this at 3000 and that would be 180 megabytes per minute. Uh, so if you're doing like 10 minute recording, that would be uh, ju just over, well, it'd be one, it'd be, uh, it'd be just over 10 gigabytes. So you can do that. You can make it basically lower or higher depending on how many, how big you want the file to be. Now, when you do make this go lower, it's basically going to reduce the quality of the recording. But by default, 6,000 is going to be pretty reasonable, pretty reasonable and okay to work with. So that is basically the main settings you're going to want to change. There are other settings, but these are the main ones that are going to dictate your file size. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to like, subscribe and comment down below that it helped. Thank you for watching.